Hello, I'm Wisconsin's own Ruben Glazer, host of The Ruben Report. I'm a newsman, and I'm not new to this game at all. But you know what they always say, you can have done this for years and seen many interesting individuals, but nothing can prepare a newsman for when the moment happens where a red-hot orange man falls on your lap and you have to uh, cover it. Donald Trump's going to be in this episode. So thank you for joining me here again on this very special election edition of the Rubin Report. The city was Appleton, and the Donald was Trump. It was a campaign rally, guys. And by the time I arrived, the streets were already bustling with Trump heads. The characteristic excitement the media has been telling us all about was there, and it was contagious. Okay? We've got some Trump supporters here standing in the rain. Can I have a Trump pump? Trump pump! We're so happy to have Donald in town today. Pretty strong supporter of Trump, but I mean, I believe in some of the things he's going for. Um, this is an official Trump hat. I got it from Trump's site. Oh, he's a good guy, I'll tell you. He's the elephant in the porta potty. That's what I think he is. I just like to say, Mr. Trump, you're doing great. Be yourself. Trump, Trump pump. Trump, Trump pump. Trump has so many, he knows everybody. Do you think Elvis would have been a uh, Donald Trump fan? I think he would because he was like me and everybody, human citizens, you know? Yeah, he was a human citizen and that is true. It was safe to say that I had these Trump supporters on my side now. Your hair look good? Yeah. Your hair looks good. But to seal the deal, I needed a bond through their favored means, negativity. What was something they all hated? Jeb, Jeb was a mess. Uh, right, Jeb Bush. Why didn't I think of that? They despise that guy. Jeb is a mess. Jeb is a mess. Uh, like four times. All right, Jeb, Jeb, is is Jeb, Jeb is a mess. mess. Jeb, Jeb is, is a mess. Jeb is a mess. Jeb, Jeb is a waste. Mess. I, that, time Jeb is waste. that time you should have said waste. Okay, now it was official. These folks were putty in my hands. And then let's do another unison thing. We here uh, do love, we support Donald Trump. We do We here, do, here. we, I'm sorry. It, we support the, Trump. We, again, uh, from the top. Of course. This was all happening outside the venue. I hadn't gotten in yet. Oh, don't think for a minute that I wasn't aware of the risks involved in this assignment. This all seemed too convenient. Perhaps this was a clever ruse by the Donald himself. After all, I have been insulting that guy on Twitter for years now. And plus, I mean, the, there was photographic evidence, incriminating photographic evidence that I don't support him right out there. Look at that. You can't erase that from the internet. I needed to damn the consequences and I needed to go into the den of the Donald Trump. Uh, I pretty much just walked right in with no real hassle. There was some light security. Some lady wrote my name on a piece of paper with a big red marker, but that was it, really. Uh, so I just went to the press pool. Hello, this is Ruben Glazer reporting to you from uh, the Appleton Trump rally. I have been uh, granted the press pass, so we are currently uh, what seems to be front row of the press pool. In fact, we're right next to CNN, so the crowd was very interesting, and there seemed to be some really important people here. We do have a breaking news update. There is a gentleman with gray hair back that way, and he seems to be a politician because he does have gray hair. But of course, nobody could hold a candle to the Donald himself. Before I knew it, an entire hour had passed. It was go time. Except, except I, well, I had to sit through an opener. And the rockets went there, the bombs in the... But after that was done, then Donald came out. Please welcome the next president of the United States, Mr. Donald J. Trump. He's coming, the big man himself. Oh, he's out there. Oh, that's him. That's him. We've, we've got, we've got Ronald Trump. Uh, no. Don, Donald. Oh. oh, I bungled it. Can, can somebody get him to go back and come out again? I messed it up. Oh, man. The speech 
was weird, and also unlike anything I have ever seen before. But all in all, we did get some scoops. So it's an honor to be here, and we can't be nicest. Mexico is like a small version of China. It's like the new China. But you have people that never voted before coming across, no and no poll. I think I'm doing so well. I like limousines better than bikes. I'm going to die. It's terrible. What's going on is terrible. We have a country that doesn't win anymore. Our health care is a disaster. Obamacare is going to be repealed and replaced. It's a disaster. Take me in, oh tender woman. Take me in, for heaven's sake. Take me in, oh tender woman. Sigh, the broken snake. That snake gave her a vicious bite. Oh, shut up. You knew damn well I was a snake. I guess he's done. I hope so. That was I was getting uh, uncomfortable. You're gonna say this was one of the great afternoons of your life. Yeah. The applause line. I, I don't know what it was. I, I wasn't, I wasn't listening. So there he goes. There's that flash of orange on top of orange zipping by. We are here with uh, with, with Ronald. Dr I said I said Ronald again. Can, said Ronald again. Gosh, on a, do we on, honestly do we have a guy who can get him to go back and then walk out again? Because I I missed the cue again. So. The speech went over brilliantly. Trump. And the crowd was thrilled. Trump. Um. And we here at the Rupin Report even saw some familiar faces, such as our friend Gary. Uh, my name is Gary, that's spelled G. G A. And also the the Jeb is a mess guy. <laughs> Jeb is a Jeb is a Jeb 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 is a mess. G A G A R Y is what I heard. I think the first is silent. G H G H A. Jeb is a mess. Jeb is a mess and Jeb is a waste. It's, it's, you, do, you do mess three times and you do waste. Okay, let's do it. Take it from the top again. So, right. Jeb, Jeb is, is a mess. R E Y. Okay, got it. That's a unique spelling. It's good. It's good. I like it. I get it. I get it. I get it. But now, it was time for me to leave because the speech was over. And these people truly did make me feel uneasy and anxious and did the entire time. But the mood changed considerably once I went outside. There was a clash between left and right. In a literal sense, of course, because, you know, it was a street and there's two sides to a, to a street. But also, you know, metaphorically, I guess, politically. So I suppose we could call you a protester of the protesters, is that correct? Exercising my constitutional right, just like yep. them folks. Okay, well, thank you. While that man exercised his right to remain silent and vacantly wave a flag around, I was going to exercise my right to return to the left side. Because, again, it was a road, so, and we were parked on the left side. But before I did, a sense of genuine guilt fluttered through my bod. Maybe I was actually wrong about Donald Trump. He was a human citizen, after all, and apparently he knew everybody. These Trump heads almost had me convinced. Was he really that bad? Donald Trump is like the, uh, the Wyoiga train wreck. Yeah, actually, who am I kidding? It, uh, I rescind everything I just said. Well, hey, you seem like a cool guy, and I'm glad that I don't have to pretend I like Donald Trump. Just gotta play ball, you know, to get the, get the interview, right? Okay, well, thank you. And thus ended my Trump venture in Appleton. And to wrap this special edition up, I will leave you with an important quote. Not from myself, but instead from one of the many memorable individuals I met today. I thank you very much and uh, keep, keep America Trump again. Hey, listen, free speech. Let's arm America. Let's give everyone a gun. Let's put a bit of heat into every city street. We'll have everybody on the run, 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 run.